more big hits to do it here. Ground pound, recovery up, and that's what I'm talking about, baby. Big break dance coming in out with the Garnet. Hey guys, what's up? It's Rain coming in out with another multi versus tutorial guide. And today we are looking at probably one of the most unique combo eccentric characters in the game. Garnet. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the basic move list, then show you how it's all applied into a match right after that. Here we go. All right, so up first, here you go, Garnet right here. Obviously, base moves you're going to talk about are going to be the following. First, you're going to have your straight up neutral attack here. So you just hold X. That's a charge up, does 15 damage charged up. This one happens, you just attach it, does five damage. So a huge difference in terms of charge up ability that happens there. All that jazz as well. Then you're going to have your side neutral. So side X here, boom, boom, three piece combo. Also, you can rotate it just like every other combo too. You can also move into a different combo too if you want to do that as well. Then you're going to have your down light attack, which is this. You can also charge it up and it goes further away. Uh, it does hit stack, so if your opponent is around top, you will hit. If they're way over here, you can even hit too. Very good move to use, especially if you have an opponent that is refusing to approach you. All right, uh, next is going to be your up neutral. This is what it looks like. Charge. It's a three-piece combo. Great for finishing KOs. Also, getting great aerial attacks as well. This one looks like not charged. Only hit two of them. But if you charge it all the way, it does go into the three-piece combo. All right. Next, you're going to have your unique special attack. So your Y right here if you're playing Xbox or you're trying to be on PlayStation. Right here, what happens is you make a barrier that actually reflects all incoming projectiles and allows you to destroy them as well. So while this is up, while you see that two at two of the music, you can actually punch projectiles and actually keep them from hitting you. So you can literally negate any projectiles coming towards you. Super good if you're going against spammy legends that like to throw stuff like Bugs Bunny with the pies or Tom and Jerry with their fishing rod, all that stuff as well. Then you're going to have your side heavy attack, which is like uh, basically your projectile has a little bit of cooldown, but you throw out your gauntlets over here and uh, they go pretty far. I'll show you guys how far they go. About this right here go decently far but good damage too as well then you're going to have your up heavy attack which is this basically aimable charge beacon that slowly does damage but then also blows up after a certain amount of time launching them airborne too pretty good pretty useful uh it does the same amount of damage no matter where you're at you can just decide where you're gonna shoot it so i'll show you right here boom does that the thing is once you do that your up heavy actually turns into this move which can't be charged but it's a good uh good way to aerial attack somebody as well for good damage all right, and then you're going to have your down heavy attack, which is this star. Now, the unique thing about this star is that no matter where you are on the map, Garnet will actually move directly towards that star no matter what. And a great thing about this is it's used tremendously for combos because if Garnet does use this move to an opponent here, let's just get rid of this, uh, let's get rid of this stock real quick. So, check this out here. We're going to pop it right here. Opponent's going to land right here. I'm gonna hit him with a one piece combo, go into that dare, and then rotate back to another combo. So it actually grabs your opponent and puts them in position where they get punished each every single time. It's incredible. Definitely the most unique aspect of Garnex kit. All right, now we're gonna move into the aerial aspect of things. First, you have your neutral air right here, which is basically like an AoE effect. You can charge up, does pretty well. Also, if you don't want to fall immediately, it helps you kind of stay rested as well. Next, you're going to have your down light attack, which is right here. Basically, good base ground pound. Uh, probably one of the best moves in the game for, like, punishing somebody, especially because it makes them bounce off. Next, you're going to have your side air right here, which is just a simplistic move. You go into combos as well. Pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. Show you one more time that looks like on contact right here. Oh, shoot. No, I won't. Right, yo, right here right here there you go boom next you're going to have your your up air attack which is basically the same thing as the bottom right here except it's just very good for confirming KOs and aerials that's pretty soft too and then you're going to go into your heavy aerial attacks now part of the kit so they're pretty much all the exact same again no matter where you put that wherever that line is right there is where everybody will you know get caught in that track line of beam so we do that rotate into that boom then you can go into some unique combo aspects with everyone too. super lit on that down heavy Next, you're going to have your side heavy in the air, which is going to be the same thing as shooting them out earlier. Then you have your neutral in the air. Again, charge lift you block projectiles with your fist. And then the last one you're going to have is your recovery, which is basically like a T-pose. Um, I mean, it's, a, it's okay. I'm not going to lie. It's not like the best. The good news is like it even hits. If you hit him with your foot, it still hits him. So that's kind of cool. But it uh, 
Definitely, like, I'd probably say one of the worst recovery moves in the game, to be brutally honest. But that's going to wrap it up for the move list of Garnet. Let's show you now in a real-time matchup how to dominate with this character and their moves. All right, here we go. Diving into our matchup now. Show you guys what is about to go down. We're obviously rocking the Garnet. Let's put everything we learned all together. Going against Macro 300 on the level 4 Finn. Let's see what you got, man. No perks. No perks needed, man. No perks needed. You know how we do it, man. You know how we popping off, boys and girls. Remember, I played this game a massive amount in the previous two betas. That's why I'm low level with some of these characters. The alpha yourself. just launched. That's why I played a lot of these characters yet on the new alpha. So, I do have a direct mastery of every character in the game. But, it's clearly going to be shown within our matches here. So, we're going against a Finn. Uh, big thing about Finn, it's actually going to be really tough. Because Finn is probably one of the strongest characters in the game right now. Garnett is seen more as a lower tier, and especially in ones. So we're just going to play really smart, man. That, that's really what it's going to come down to. All right, start at D6. Get some pressure off the rip. Okay. Just kind of really get some space in here. I think that's going to be the key. Maybe rotate up the air. Good. Stay right there. Let's there again. Let's go! Easy, man. All right, I'll pop this one. Check out. Go D Sig right there. Rotate out again. Okay, gonna go end light. Rotate dash. The chase dodge. Side air. Oh, not good, not good, not good here. Yeah, he's gonna go for that thin destructo. That was a huge nerf right there. I know I have to I have attack decay happening right now, but it's, he doesn't he doesn't dodge the end light. All right, right here, this should be good. He's trying to charge up for the slap. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty admirable. All right, go up. Oh no, he went downward with the note. I had him perfectly for the jump. It's not gonna work. Good AOE right there. Big hit seeker. Rotate up. One of the down heavy. Oh, he blocked it with the shield. That was so good. All right, let's go down it again. Rotate out. Got him with the jump. Yes, sir. Calculated. Go end light. Neutral recovery. Hit him with the haymaker charge up here. This should connect him. Yep, he doesn't even know. Yep, big neutral. Side heavy again. AOE. One more big hit to do it here. Ground pound. Recovery up. And that's what I'm talking about, baby. Big break dance coming in out with the Garnet. And that is how you play Garnet efficiently with her move kit. Take your time, play outside, but then once you put them Told in between, you your D, Sig, aka your down heavy, Continue. hit them with a bunch of neutral attacks, punish them, and absolutely make the most opportunities. I love y'all. If y'all appreciate this video and you got any value from me, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until then, I will see y'all next time for all our daily uploads for Multiverses. Peace!